WMPG Community Radio from USM is hosting four neighborhood block parties for Portland youth and their families this July. In an effort to help Portland youth connect with summer and school year programs, these 1 to 3 p.m. block parties will have music, hands-on activities, pick-up basketball or soccer games, free food and ice cream, and a raffle. So, Anella, tell, tell me what's going on down here. So, we're running this series of block parties just to give back to the community, to reach out, and basically just to have fun. That is fantastic. Yeah. And, you know, I, I know for me, really enjoy working with kids yeah. and to see the stories that uh, they come up with, the, the worlds they can create. Yeah. It's got to be incredibly inspirational. Yeah, and we've got like different cultures here, so it's kind of nice just to kind of all get together. And, uh, you know, we've got some food from Soul Paradise in uh, the right of the main mall. Which we've got, smells like, delicious. Fried chicken and mac and cheese from Soul Paradise Food. That is wonderful. And, and so from what I've read, you've, you've got four of these block parties this summer. Yeah. This is the second, this, and there yeah. are two more coming up. When yeah. are they? So we had one in Riverton Park last week. And then we have, at the end of the month, the 28th and 29th at Eben Hill and at Montjoy South. So, well, it looks yeah. like the kids and the families yeah. are all having an absolutely wonderful yeah. time. Yeah, and, uh, and that's really what it's all about, isn't it? Is, it? The, yeah. the community and bringing yeah. the community together. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking well, a minute out of your day to chat with us. Thank you, and thanks for coming. Hello, ladies. Hi. Would, you, would you like to be on TV? What we're doing here is we're telling story. We're rolling the dice, and basically whatever it lands on, you gotta make up a story about it. My was an apple and a light. I basically made up a story like this fairy town, and the sun was too bright for them to fly. So what they needed was an apple that they could like plant, and like a tree would grow, and then like they could they would be able to fly. That's I love that. Um, my was basically about like a smiley face and a house. So my story was about like this person, he was so happy that everything, anything that he wished for will come true. So then he wished for a house and then a house popped up. I love it. We're at the telling room. This is Sonia. Hi Sonia. Sonia's one of our lead teachers. I'm Christina, I'm the executive director. We are a literary arts nonprofit. We run free writing programs down in our studio on Commercial Street. That is fantastic. And are the kids uh, excited that you're here? I think You've had so. a big crowd at this table for <laughs> ever since we arrived. Storytelling's exciting. It Everyone sure has is. a story inside of them. We're just here to encourage that storytelling in all young people. And all of our books here are published by student authors that have come through our center. And we're just grateful to be here. Fantastic. Well, thank you, ladies, and thank thanks you. for being here. Thanks. <laughs> hey, how are you? Yeah, you want to say something? Fried chicken. <laughs> I'm Michelle, and this is Rebecca. We work for Goodwill Workforce Solutions. We help kids uh, 16 to 24 find jobs and training and help them get into schools. Just help them find stability. Fantastic. That's such a wonderful thing to be doing. It is. It's wonderful. In your opinion, do you think the kids are having a good time? It sure looks like it. Yeah, it does to me. Happy. That's fantastic. Yep. And uh, anything you'd like to add while we're here? No, I, don't think, I mean, if you're looking for a job and you're between the ages of 16 and 24, come on and visit us and we might be able to help you out. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Do you have anything you'd like to share with us? I just found out like, about a game like over there. Yeah. Um, you throw a ball in a cup and you have to answer the question correctly. And then if you get it correct, then you like get a prize, which is like an orange and like a sticker. But yeah, it's right over there and it's like really fun. So we should try that. You should, you should. You should. I love it. Uh, my name is Sean Marteau and I'm here with the Ocean Map Library. Here we have a bunch of like little activities for kids of all ages. Uh, we have some kind of stuff for some of the younger kids, little activities like coloring and some uh, crosswords and stuff like that. Um, we also try to uh, have some more unique stuff like some bags that kids can carry around, uh, some postcards, and just try to kind of promote the idea of uh, education and kind of the importance of maps. A lot of the maps that we also include here kind of are a little bit out of date. Um, so for example, this is North America. 
um, which as you can see is not actually accurate at all, but it's a way to kind of show kids how like things have changed over history, how perspectives have changed, and especially with like depending on like who's making the map, whether they be like Japanese, European, or North American. Right. Uh, you know, influences change, perspective change. That sounds fantastic. And uh, do you folks uh, enjoy supporting WMPG? Oh yes, of course. Actually, we just recently had them over. Um, and they're Oh great. Yeah, we were, uh, had them over and looking at a bunch of our maps from our collection, primarily maps of Portland and just how like things have changed. That also. is fantastic. Well, thanks for talking to us today and thanks for being yeah. down here. Of course, thank you. Parties. We're here for the kids, we're here for the families, we're here for the neighborhood. Portland Public Library loves everybody here. That is fantastic. And your name is Steve. I'm Steve. Fantastic. And uh, what do you think? What's your opinion? It looks like the kids are having a fantastic time. They're having a great time. I mean, we're. I had to go through and let them know that we were here giving away free books to every kid that comes over oh, here. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, absolutely. Every stop we do this summer, kids get a free book. That is so, fantastic. A great thing to yes. know. Oh, yes. So we're pretty, we're pretty happy to be here. This is wonderful. Kids are having fun. We're having fun. And that's what it's all about. It really is what it's all about. And bringing the community together. That's right. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, Steve, very nice to chat with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by. We are an organization called VOLO, and we work primarily with high schoolers, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, and we take them on weekend retreats, giving them a chance to kind of step outside of their own communities and friend groups, connect with other teens across experiences, and learn about themselves and others. I have to say, it looks like the kids are having a wonderful time. They really are. We're so grateful to be out here today with other youth service providers and in this community, just having a chance to talk to the teens and the kids. That is fantastic. And what's your name? My name's Megan. Megan, very nice to meet you. And I'm Dana. Hi, Dana. Hi. Wonderful to meet you. And, and what a great, what a great day. Thanks so much. Enjoy the day. If you missed the first two WMPG block parties, don't worry. There are two more coming up this July. On Thursday, July 28th, Monjoy South, 96 Adams Street. And on Friday, July 29th, Ebon Hill Drive.